Nvidia is up 150% year to date and over 300,000% since IPO. Sheesh! While Tesla year to date Bruh. is down 25%, but since IPO, it's up over 14,000%. You tell me which one is the better long-term investment if you don't know don't worry i gotcha we're gonna look as far as 2032 well first 2030 then 2032 because the data is pretty interesting obviously this is all a prediction but with tesla it's just going to boom up and i made a video about it of who will be the world's most valuable company next after nvidia which is not tesla you guys can check the video out here if you guys are curious to see which that one which that other company is because that company also has a very strong potential to becoming the world's most valuable company sooner than we think beating nvidia so let's get down to this video it's gonna be a juicy one and one that was long overdue because a lot of investors are selling tesla and buying nvidia which is quite funny because they're selling Tesla on the low and buying Nvidia on the high and even though I do think Nvidia is going to go higher for this year it's probably not the wisest thing to do buying things at the high but hey you guys do you I'm just going to show you guys what I think is going to happen long term I am an all-in Tesla investor and I am in it until 2030 and then we can see what we can do there or maybe if the stock goes 10 20x whichever comes first right then we can see what we can do but I am very curious to see how they're going to perform form so let's get down to it smash that like button if you guys haven't already and hit subscribe man i don't know why you guys haven't subscribed yet man come on let's go so here's my tesla stock price prediction and nvidia stock price prediction charts and yes one looks much bigger than the other because the one that's much bigger i do a lot of research on it and i'm all in and obviously when you're all in you well, gotta do your research right you gotta see what the projection is for nvidia you guys can see in the blue tabs january 2025 january 2026 and january 2027 this is from actual analysts predicting these will be the numbers which is insane amount of numbers because we just did in january 2024 which just passed nvidia is one year ahead as you guys can see january 2031 for tesla i put here 2030 so it's one year ahead so 2025 this will end in 2024 which is quite funny but last year they did 61 billion in revenue, almost 30 billion in net income. This year, they're projected to do 100 and over 120, so practically almost a 2x, and profits to be more than a 2x, which is just insane. And you guys can see the numbers getting much crazier for 2026, 2027, 2028 to 2031. I just increased it by about 20% every single year because around that time, analysts are saying the growth rate is going to drop, get dropped down to 10 to 15%, which I don't think it's gonna. Of course, it's not going to be 50, 60. 80% what it is now, but I also don't think it's going to be 10, 15% either at that time. So I do think it's going to be in the 20% every single year as a annual growth rate for those four years. But let's first go ahead and look at Tesla. Then we can go into NVIDIA and the NVIDIA, not NVIDIA, NVIDIA. I know you guys are going to bash me in the comments for saying it wrong. So I'm not saying it wrong. <laughs> but let's take a look at Tesla because there's a lot of things going on here that you guys may have questions for you guys can stop and read it's pretty self-explanatory in this tesla evaluation i've added everything except for the bots but we still don't know when how and we even though i do have a better idea shout out to cern for that for giving me more of an insight how we can evaluate the bots but in order to add it in here I decided to keep it simple because it's already speculative enough with FSD in here, right? But it is getting closer and closer to it. For example, FSD global revenue and profits, we know they're already generating in 2024. They're already going to be making 600 million in revenue and around almost 350, 360 million in gross profits. We know this already. And it's much easier to project this, the global FSD, than the other FSDs, like the licensing is just hard to do it, which is why I put it all over to 2027. And RoboTaxi, I do expect them to start in 2026, and I already made a valuation of how this could happen in this video here, how Tesla's gonna have an NVIDIA moment soon, which is a sheesh moment, and those numbers are here, and you guys can see the number goes from 20 million revenue from 2026 all the way to over almost 7.7 .7 billion in revenue in 2030 5 million profits all the way to two and a half billion profits i mean the scalability is crazy and time 
is Tesla's best friend. The more time it goes, the thing's gonna continue compounding because it's just more vehicles on the road, more FSD, more mandates. It's, it's gonna be insane. So with FSD, whatever I think it was a realistic scenario, I put here. On the other note, I put energy revenue here and profits. Tesla Energy ending 2030 around 78 billion in revenue and a little over 15 and a half billion in profits so that's the only thing that i added in and you guys can see the vehicle delivery is not even 10 million by 2030 but after that things are going to get pretty wild and we'll get to that near the end of this video average selling price of 34,000. you guys can see right i put your vehicle gross profits of 22 percent that would mean their average selling price at that time by 2030 if they're selling average vehicle sold around 34,000. their cogs per each vehicle will be around 26 and a half thousand by 2030 now i think it could be a whole lot lower than that but keeping things, I guess, conservative in a way. Operating costs around 21 billion, taxes at 12.5 billion, ending 2030 with an operating margin of 22.4. I mean, the net income will be over 100 billion, which would be which would be flipping crazy. Now, if you guys want more details about this chart, how I broke it down, I will make a separate video on that later. But let's get down to see what the valuation and the stock price could be this year, all the way till 20 flipping 30. So. Smash that like button, let's start with Tesla. In 2024, this year, I could see Tesla ending revenues over 108 billion, although net income gap will be a little over 7.5 billion. So down drastically from 2023. However, though, if you guys remember in Q4 of 2023, Tesla had a five point one billion dollar tax inheritance that boosted the net income so realistically just 13.7 billion should be around eight and a half billion so only one billion less than last year okay that's all right and if q3 can q4 and even q2 if operating margins are going up and if we see total gap gross margins also going up which i do think is going to go up this will give a signal to wall street and every analysts I was going to say another word, but analysts that, hey, Tesla has bottom and operating margin. Now it's going up. The business is growing again. The margins are going up again. So they'll be more inclined to, you know, give it more of a higher PE, to give it a higher stock price, to give it a higher EPS, be more optimistic about the stock and about the company. However, though, by end of 2024, I do expect that a lot of these Wall Street analysts are going to say that, okay, 2024 was a bad year, but their margins are going up. Their total gap gross margins are going up. Their FSD is doing very well. They just had a robot taxi event telling us how it's going to work. So we got to be pricing in some of these things. And I think by end of this year, we could see a PE of 100, giving the stock price of 215 or a market cap of 760 billion in market cap. Now, my price target by end of this year is 350 that would mean a pe of 163 Bruh. and a market cap of 1.2 trillion Peggy, that's not realistic hey man i ain't changing it i still think we may hit it but less than 10 percent chance less than 15 percent chance this will be the case most likely 100 pe at 215 ending this year would make sense now let's say by end of 2024 you decided to put ten thousand dollars into tesla at a stock price of 215 now it would be around 46, 47 shares. So let's do that and let's see what your return will be every single year and how much that 10,000 is gonna grow to. This is gonna be fun. Moving on to 2025, you guys can see operating margin has jumped to 9.2% and I'm gonna give this an 85 PE and this will give the stock price of 293 and a market cap over 1 trillion. And your investment grew over 36% to 13,662 in just one year if that number becomes true, which is an absolutely a sheesh flipping moment. Moving on to 2026, and this is the year where Tesla reports robot taxi revenue and profits for the very first time and gives a very good detailed and a good clear forecast on how robot taxi is going to grow every single year for Tesla. The market gets excited, gives it also a high PE as well, around 80. Now, here's the thing. Look at this, 12.4% operating margin. That's crazy. You see FSD Global Revenue growing to 2 billion, like literally growing 80% year over year from 2025 to 2026, which is absolutely nuts. And ADP will give it a stock price of 456 bucks and a market cap over 1.6 trillion. And that would be insane. That would be an all-time high for Tesla in 2026 or end of 2026. That would be insane. And what else is insane is your investment. They went from 10,000 to over 21,000, doubling more than your money 
in less than two years or in two years time which is in flip insane not as crazy as 2027 where we have full self-driving licensing coming out for the first time and license out to either ford or byd or whatever it is and i could just imagine how much money they can make instantly because it's not going to be a license on 100 vehicles it's going to be licensed on hey man do it on this whole lineup of vehicles because when we sell these cars you know we want them to drive autonomy we want them to have we want the customers to have access to full self-driving as well and i think that has to be on mass scale so i am seeing around 1.2 1.3 billion in revenue and it, it is an 80 percent. i mean it's licensing it's practically 100 percent, but 80 percent in profits which would be a little over 1 billion now here's the thing guys this is pure speculative right robo taxi and fsc global revenue is a lot less speculative FSC licensing is a whole lot. It's, it's just next level speculation here. But I think once that happens, it's going to be crazy printing money for Tesla because it's not like you can only license five vehicles or 10 vehicles or 100 vehicles. No, it's going to be a good, it's going to be a chunk of vehicles or a lineup. Like, for example, the Ford Mach E, for example, or maybe BYD, one of those vehicles that are selling high, selling high volume. It's going to be one of those. And once they are licensed, they're licensed. The customer can use it. They don't need it. But it's more advantage for those companies to have it because they can charge more for the car too and maybe get an annual subscription too. So that's why I can see it that once a deal is made with one OEM maker or another EV maker, it's going to be a massive deal. It's going to be crazy. So that's why the numbers are in the billions even for the first year. But again, it is speculative. So take this with a grain of salt for now operating margin over 14 percent i'm gonna give this a pe of 75 because all of a sudden you're seeing fsc global revenue going up you see vehicle gross profits going up as well robo taxi profits more than doubling in years so 75 pe which i do think is even conservative will give it a stock price of 618 bucks a market cap over 2.2 trillion and your 10,000 has turned to almost 29,000, which is just absolutely insane now here's the thing guys you guys go like oh man the stock is worth what 1.6 2.2 trillion 2026 and 2027 you're gonna give it a 75 and 80 pe you're crazy well nvidia right now is over 3 trillion and they have over 70 pe amazon is almost 2 trillion and they have a 50 pe mind you apple who's growing only six percent annually and they're over 3.2 trillion in market cap is a 30 pe how how the last time i checked a company that's going six percent should have a pe around 10 to 15 but i'll tell you why because they have reoccurring revenue they have reoccurring profits they have software they have high margins guess what robo taxi and fsc is gonna be for tesla exactly now you have this high margin reoccurring now you're doubling this every single year i think a 75 pe is too low in my opinion but that's how i that's how I got the idea, all right? Moving on to 2028. You got FST Global Revenue increasing by 80%. You got FST Licensing tripling because now I see a whole bunch of other companies coming in as well. At this point, it's like the advantage is, is that can your car drive autonomously? If it doesn't, you're at a very big disadvantage. That's how I'm seeing it. All of a sudden, you see Tesla 10Xing robo-taxis within a year because they got scale. They have 6 million, well, at that time in 2028, they're going to have what 25 30 million vehicles on the road if they want to start a fleet with one over the air update or one snap of a finger hey man anyone, anyone who has a tesla can start a robo taxi can join the fleet it's it's madness it's it, it's crazy it's absolutely crazy with an operating margin of 16.3 percent revenue almost reaching 300 billion net income gap oh almost 32 billion i gotta give it to 70p because things are still doubling this would give it a stock price of 829 and a market cap over 3 trillion. Your 10,000 investment has turned to almost $39,000. Insane. 2029. Look at the FST revenues going up like crazy. Like licensing is doubling, which is crazy. You have RoboTaxi 10x thing again. And I do expect this. Again, you guys can check the video in the car in the corner how I'm getting this number for the RoboTaxi. It's madness. 19% operating margin. I'm going to give it a 65 PE and that's a stock price of 1200 bucks per share and a market cap almost reaching 4.4 trillion. Your 10K has now turned to 56K, almost a 20K increase from 2028 to 2029. But look at this guys. From 2028 to 2029, the market cap went from 3 trillion to almost 4.4 trillion in one year. And that's not crazy at all because Nvidia every single year now since 
two years has been increasing at a trillion. Tesla, in my opinion, is going to be the biggest growth value and asset ever in history. And you'll see this in 2030, how crazy it's going to get. You guys can see FSC licensing, just going ballistic here, tripling, robot taxi doubling, and FSC global revenue going up by 50, 60%. And it's just, it's crazy. It's, it's, it's madness what this company can do once they think this part of, this part of the company is solved. It's going to be a crazy time. 20, over 22% in operating margin. I'm going to give this a 70 PE. The PE went up because FSD licensing is going ballistic. Robotax and all this is going ballistic. A lot of people are understanding and analysts are understanding that, yo, this company, Tesla, is going to be a SaaS company, no longer a vehicle company because look how much they're making through their software business. Insane. A 70 PE will give the stock price over 2000 and a market cap over almost 7.5 trillion, which is insane. Look at this, guys. 2029 to 2030, nearly a three trillion increase in valuation, market valuation. That's the thing. That's the crazy part about Tesla, because this could actually happen with Tesla. And this is excluding the bots. If you want to add the bots in, I don't know what to say. But I do believe this that there's gonna be a year where the valuation is just gonna go ballistic. It's gonna go crazy. It's gonna people it's gonna make a lot of jaws drop. That's all I'm gonna say. And your 10K investment has turned to ninety six and a half thousand so from 10k you've practically almost 10 extra money if these numbers become true which is what four six years from now <laughs> sheesh moment sheesh flipping moment overall you made about almost a 10x 965 percent return roi on your investment if you put 10k at the stock price of 215 at the end of 2024 crazy not financial advice but insane this is how i kind of view test on why i'm going all in this is the reason why. Now, let's compare it to NVIDIA. Will NVIDIA still be the world's most valued company there, or at least be more valued than Tesla? It's more simpler there. So smash that like button and let's get down to it. Starting off with January 2025, which would be this year, because they are one year ahead. Their finances is, I think they're one or two quarters ahead. It's weird how they do it, but that's how they do it. Revenue over 120 billion, which is insane because now the revenue is more than Tesla's. That's crazy. Even the profits is just, I mean, Profits, it just dwarfed Tesla in 2024 or this year. I'm going to give it a 60p. I think the stock price could end this year at 153 with a market cap of 3.8 trillion. Now, a lot of speculators out there are saying 300, which is a market cap of like 7 trillion this year, which is just, <laughs> I don't know about that. I mean, I think eventually it'll get there, but not this year. It just doesn't make any sense to me if it goes up to 300. Insane. But let's say at end of this year, you decided to buy $10,000 worth of NVIDIA stock at 153 share. It's about 65, 66 shares. And you decide to hold it until 2030 to see what the return will be. So that's what we're going to do for this year. Next year or in January 2026 for NVIDIA, 160 billion in revenue and net income 83 billion. I'm going to give it a 55 PE and that's will give it a stock price of 184, which would be a market cap of 4.5, 4.6 trillion which is insane you made over 20 percent of your money in just one year which is insane january 2027 or the year after that i'm gonna give it a 50 pe because it looks like the growth seems to be slowing down we're not getting this 2x 50 pe will give it a stock price of 200 and a market cap almost reaching 5 trillion your 10k has now turned to over 13k making 15 percent every single year now the year after that we see the revenue going over 200 billion and net income reaching 120 billion so Pretty much the net income has become the revenue for this year by 2028 or 2027, which is insane. I'm still going to give it a 45 PE. That's a stock price of 218 and a market cap of 5.4 trillion. Your 10K has turned to over 14.2K. The following year, I'm going to give it a 40 PE, which will be a stock price of 234 and a market cap over 5.7 trillion. Your 10K has now turned to over 15, almost 15.3K, which is actually not bad. January 2030 or January 2029, I'm going to give it again a 40 PE, which will get a stock price of 283 and a market cap almost 6.9 trillion, which is quite funny. Your 10K has now turned to 18.5K and 2031, or in this case, it will be 2030. I'm going to also going to give it a 40 PE because I just can't see NVIDIA going below 40 PE. I just don't see that happening. I, I personally, maybe I can even see, even if NVIDIA's competition comes and does take market share, let's say their margins go from 80% to 40%. That's not worth giving anything below a 40 PE. I would even say in the 50 PEs would make sense, but you know me, I am conservative. 40 PE, 
end of this decade or the start of the next decade however, however you guys want to view it that's a stock price of 342 and a market cap of eight point over 8.2 trillion your 10k has now turned to almost 22 and a half thousand which is a 224 percent now here's the thing some of you guys are going to come out and say that peggy nvidia has dividends Look, the dividends are not even half a percent. So there's really no point of adding them in. If you really want to add them in, then that 230% ROI, you can just say that. And this is including buybacks, guys. You guys can see a share outstanding buying back opposed to Tesla. Every single year is actually a dilution except for 2029 and 2030. Then I do expect to see some buybacks there because if they're printing $70 billion every single year and it's growing massively thanks to RoboTaxi, there has to be some sort of a buyback. I mean, there has to be. So that's why 2029, I am seeing a buyback then. Now, looking at the market caps, Nvidia is still beating Tesla even in 2030, but the return is a hell of a lot more for Tesla compared to Nvidia, which makes sense because Nvidia is over a three trillion market cap while Tesla at the moment is what, 550, but we're going based on a 750 billion market cap. So the return of Tesla is a whole lot more, but Nvidia is still you know dominating in the market cap beating tesla but not for long because when we look at 2031 and 2032 things change boom that's unhided you guys can suddenly see the numbers for tesla look at the vehicle deliveries reaching over 16 million in 2032 now will this happen I don't know, but I did reduce the vehicle gross profits going down because they are selling $28,000 vehicles now. But that doesn't matter because look at the FSD numbers, man. Look at the global. Oh my God, $33 billion. Then the licensing doubles even, like just almost doubles. And the robotaxi just continues to double, like nearly double as well. You got energy over 130 billion. You got operating margin of 26%. You got a net income of 200 billion, which two years ago was just 100 billion. It's insane. But check out these numbers, guys. In 2031, I'm going to give it 65 PE because they're still growing heavily. And that's a stock price of over 2,700 bucks and a market cap of over 9.7 trillion. Your 10k investment has now gone up to over almost 127,000. Your 10k, which is insane. Next year, a 60 PE, which would be a stock price of almost 3,400 bucks and a market cap almost reaching 12 trillion. Your 10k has now turned to almost 160k, which is insane because that is a 15, 77% return ROI in your investment, which is insane. You know, Tesla exponential growth is what Tesla has mastered, and that's where we're gonna get the longer we hold the stock. That's all I'm gonna say. Not financial advice, but that's all I'm going to say. Now for Nvidia, I just kept it 40 PE for the entire time. You guys can see the numbers here. 302% ROI, your 10K has turned to over 30K. Now let's say 310% if you wanna add in the dividends as well. But again, 1600% return and 310% return. Now, all of a sudden, you see Tesla being valued at 12 trillion by 2032 and almost 11 trillion for Nvidia. This is the only way Tesla can be beat Nvidia's market cap and become the world's most valued company by then is because of FSD. And this is not even including the bot. If I could include the bot here, not only is Nvidia stock price gonna go higher and market cap because they gotta buy chips from Nvidia, I, I assume so, right? But adding the bot into Tesla will just be even higher. I think this 11 trillion, and if they're you know going and producing at mass scale and deploying it in mass scale, the numbers get extremely nutty that I can't even fathom right now. So, but it's going to be a whole lot more than 12 trillion. That's for sure. But regarding the bot, forget the bot. When you add all the FSD elements, the full stop driving globally, whoever has a Tesla, and then you get the licensing and the robo tax. If you add all these three in, it's a game changer for Tesla. And that's an operating margin of only 26%. This is a massive argument too. I mean, Ark is saying by 2029, the stock price could be as high as 3,100 or around 2,600, which mine I have here around 2,000. Sheesh. Sheesh, sheesh, sheesh. So again, guys, this is only a prediction and a prediction alone, right? This is not facts. However, though, the valuation and the way that I think how Tesla is going to go, I am pretty confident about that. But again, that's also speculating. So don't invest or buy or sell because of this video. Do your DD. And the reason why, I guess you could, I mean, I don't think I was biased because, I mean, even NVIDIA, it's crazy numbers, NVIDIA. But 
I'm more into Tesla and I can see these revenue growths, these new, you know, products and services coming into service and actually making a lot of money for Tesla. For Nvidia, they have the Omniverse coming, but I took that more of a general approach. Maybe they'll, you know, surprise us with another revenue stream from another product or service that we don't even know about. So I'm just going based on what the analysts were saying for Nvidia and giving it a realistic or a conservative take for Nvidia, which was 20% growth rate year over year, which I think makes sense at this time given, at this time I given. So sheesh, big numbers, huge things. But again, not financial advice. Take all this with a grain of salt. Now here's the thing guys, if you guys think, or you, you guys don't know how to value the bots, or even just a robo taxi, I highly recommend you guys watch this interview or this education lesson that I had with CERN. I was honestly speechless. The title says it all. And literally I was afterwards because it's crazy. And it's the reason why I understand the bot more, but not enough to add it in this valuation yet because the numbers are just crazy nutty. And you guys will understand it after you guys watch this video. It's a sheesh moment. Guys, subscribe. And um, I just, I'll see you guys in the next video. I love you all. And don't forget to smash that like button, man. Come on. See ya.